Good morning. The reading for day, today comes from Exodus chapter 12, verses 1 through 13, and chapter 13, verses 1 through 8. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall mark for you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year for you. Tell the whole congregation of Israel that on the tenth of this month, they are to take a lamb for each family, a lamb for each household. If a household is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join its closest neighbor in obtaining one. The lamb shall be divided in proportion to the number of people who eat it. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a year old male. You may take it from the sheep or from the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th day of this month. Then the whole assembled congregation of Israel shall slaughter it at twilight. They shall take some of the blood and put it on the two doorposts and the lintel of the houses in which they eat it. They shall eat the lamb the same night. They shall eat it roasted over the fire with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. Do not eat any of it raw or boiled in water, but roasted over the fire with its head, legs, and inner organs. You shall let none of it remain until the morning. Anything that remains until the morning you shall burn. This is how you shall eat it, your loins girded, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and you shall eat it hurriedly. It is the Passover of the Lord, for I will pass through the land of Egypt that night, and I will strike down every firstborn in the land of Egypt, both human beings and animals. On all the gods of Egypt I will execute judgments. I am the Lord. The blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you live. Where I see blood, I will pass over you. And no plague shall destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, Consecrate to me all the firstborn. Whatever is first to open the womb among Israelites, of human beings and animals, is mine. Moses said to the people, Remember this day on which you came out of Egypt, out of the house of slavery, because the Lord brought you out from there by strength of hand. No leavened bread shall be eaten. Today, in the month of Abib, you are going out. When the Lord brings you to the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, which he swore to your ancestors to give you, the land flowing with milk and honey, you shall keep this observance in this month. For seven days you shall eat unleavened bread. And on the seventh day there shall be a festival to the Lord. Unleavened bread shall be eaten for seven days. No leavened bread shall be seen in your possession, or no leaven shall be seen among you in all your territory. You shall tell your child on that day, it is because of what the Lord did for me when I came out of Egypt. Word of God, word of life. Hey, Mom. I'm home. Oh, how was work today? Pretty awful. Bella wasn't feeling well, so she couldn't work as hard as usual. So the Egyptian slave master whipped her to get her to work faster. She eventually passed out. Oh, it's awful. Do they have any compassion? Not for us Israelites. Mom, things are getting worse every day. Things are going to get better. That's what you always say. But nothing is getting better. We're slaves, Mom. I know, honey. <coughs> but, but things are about to get better. God has a plan. What plan? Mom, I was born a slave. <coughs> you and Dad were both slaves. That's not going to change. I mean, how can anything change? Supper tonight will change everything. Mom, your cooking is good, but not that good. <laughs> what are we having? Roasted lamb. Mmm, we never get lamb. This is a very special night, my dear. Um, Mom, I think we forgot to put yeast in the bread. It's flat as a pancake. Did the Egyptians take away our yeast now? No, no. That's just how it's supposed to be this time. 
Regular bread will take too long. We don't have time to wait for the, do the dough to rise tonight. But apparently, we didn't have time to get the good herbs either. This kind is bitter. That's on purpose, too. They symbolize the bitterness of our lives in slavery. And this salty water that I just mixed will symbolize our people's tears. We've had a lot of tears. Like when Pharaoh ordered that all our baby boys be killed. The one Pharaoh took away the straw and told our men to make bricks without it. And the countless times Pharaoh's men have beaten our people, men and women and children. And all the times Pharaoh has told Moses to let our people go, and he takes back his word. But all of that is over, my love. We're going to be free. <laughs> yeah, right. Pharaoh will never let us go. But he will. God has promised us. Tonight's dinner is our last dinner as slaves. And God has set our menu. So that's why we're eating flimsy bread. Because God told us to? Exactly. We have to be ready to go at a moment's notice. No time to let the bread rise. And your father's outside roasting the lamb right now. We've got a long journey ahead of us. Which is why we need to, we need to eat our fill tonight. You're serious, aren't you? Yes. And I think the lamb is almost ready. In fact, I need you to take this branch out to your father in a minute. He's going to need it for the blood. Blood? Yeah. Yeah, Dad's going to use this branch to brush some of the lamb's blood over the front door. Why in the world would we do that? It's something that God told us to do. All of our people are eating God's meal tonight. And all of us will be painting blood over our doors to protect us. From what? From the last plague. You know how God has brought nine plagues upon the people of Egypt, trying to convince Pharaoh to let our people go? Yeah, well, this final plague will convince Pharaoh because this plague will kill the firstborn of every house in Egypt. Glad I'm not the firstborn. <laughs> no, that, that's not what I'm saying. God has protected us from the, from the plagues before this one, right? And the blood over our doors tonight will protect us from this plague, even our firstborns. Because that blood will show the Israelites live in these homes, and the plague will pass over our houses. Pass over? Yeah, and that's why this meal that we're about to have will be called the Passover meal. That's incredible. So incredible that God wants us to eat this Passover meal every year after this. To remind us of the time when God freed us from slavery. I don't know, like, I don't even know what it means to be free. No, I don't either, honey, but I can't wait to find God. Whatever happens, Moses will lead us, and God will be with us. Now, take this branch out to your father. It's almost time to eat. I hope you're hungry. Our last supper in Egypt is almost ready. Sounds like the best supper ever.